Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create data source in a report manager web interface in SSRS. We'll be opening report manager and then we'll be creating a data source. So first of all, if your DBA would or anybody have not provided you the URL for report server, you need to find it. And first thing, if you are on your local machine and that's where you want to and check the report server URL or report manager, you can go to the service uh, search and then write SQL server reporting. So once you write it, you will find a SQL server 2014 or 2012 or 2016 reporting services configuration manager. If you are trying to find the report manager link or report server URL, on uh, some machine uh, you might want to log in as a remote and then uh, open this uh, reporting services configuration uh, manager once you open this one uh, it will uh, ask you okay tell you the server name in this case this is my server name and i have only one instance uh, of reporting services so if i have more it will show me more so hit okay and then connect once you connect you will see web service uh, url and uh, this is the url on which uh, you will see all those folders in the directory structure so i have created these folders uh, to deploy some reports and you can see that it is has a um, main folders or directories then it has sub directories and if the reports will be there you will see the list of those report names and next we would like to see the report manager url so we will see this one something with the reports so once you click this one it will open this web interface from where you can manage your report server items. So in this case, we have created data sets, we have created data sources folder, and we have created other folders. To create a new folder, you just click new folder and create it. I have done a detailed video on creating folder, dropping folders, renaming folders, moving folders. So watch that one as well. So here, what we'd like to do, we would like to create a data source. Why we create the data source because when we deploy these reports to this server they need to connect to some database and uh, if you remember in the project to SSRS project we have shared data sources created so this is the same way when you create the report it always asks okay which data source you want to use in our case we always tell them sales so it's the same thing we have to create a data source in the report server so the reports can use that data source so there are multiple ways to create a data source one way we can deploy the data source from here from our project the other way we can upload the file that rds file from for the data source and the next one is create by ourselves so i'm going to go ahead and create by ourselves other two options i'm going to show you in next videos so i have to I want to create the data source in the data sources folder. So I have folder, click, and then new data source. Once I click a new data source, it will ask me, okay, the name of that one. Let's say sales. That's what the name I would like to have. And uh, here we have to provide the connection string. Now in the connection string, as we are using SQL Server, we always know that we have to say data source and then equal to and provide the server name. In our case, I'm going to use this server and that's where I have sales database. So I'm going to use this server name to find the server name. If I don't want to just write it and make mistakes, I'm going to use at the rate rate server name. So select run. I copy this server name come back to the report manager interface and paste it here once i paste it then i will be using this terminator here and then the next i have to say initial catalog initial catalog is equal to the database so initial catalog means the database name so in our case it is sales we are all good here now we have to provide the credential which we would like to use for this data source so think about this connection 
uh, with, with this data source, uh, this uh, uh, username is going to connect with the database and get the information. Now you have all those reports, uh, that's different security. So I'm going to go and show you those security as well later. So when uh, you have deployed, let's say 20 reports uh, and you only provide permission to some users on five of them, on some of them, 10 of them and some of uh, all of them. But uh, you do not want to take those uh, all users and provide them permission on the database because they will be accessing the reports. So if they will be accessing the reports, uh, they need to have permission uh, to fetch the data from the uh, database, right? So we do not want everybody providing permission to the database. Those report users just should have a, a permission to see the reports. Under that, as a report will be using the data source, we are configuring a data source and here we will create a service account that can be used to connect to the database. So one connection, all those data sources what we create, we can use that um, service account or the SQL Server account to connect to the database and users will never have permission to the database level but they will have only permission on the reports they will be able to see the report uh, preview the report and everything but once they click the report the report is going to connect to the database and get the data it, it at the time of connection it will use uh, this credential so i can use a uh, windows integ uh, integrated security it is going to use my credential as of now but i don't recommend using this one because tomorrow when your users are going to view the report their credential will not have the permission on this database so i'm going to show you this one and come back real quick we'll create a sql account and change it here as well so test connection is this connection created successfully hit ok so now this uh, uh, data source is created and uh, if we have a report we can use uh, this uh, data source uh, for that report uh, so I, I am going to uh, show you how to use the data sources in the reports so here uh, once uh, it is done as you can see that the people can have a reports uh, and uh, they should be using uh, the data source sales uh, but they should not have permission on the database uh, on the database uh, we should use a service account or sql account uh, that will have a permission so in my case i'm going to go ahead and create a sql account so go to security create login right click new login and in our case we are going to call this one ssrs login and this is going to be sql as i don't have a windows login i'm going to call this one test one two three test one two three now once uh, this is done, uh, we would like to provide permission uh, to the database. Uh, so go to the user mapping uh, and in the sales, uh, click sales uh, and here provide uh, data reader. So you do not need uh, to be uh, data writer because in the report you are not writing. Maybe if you are using store procedure and all that, maybe the, at one point you might uh, need some permission. Uh, but most of the time we are reading the data and you do not uh, need to be DB owner for this uh, uh, report to run so depending on the reports what type of reports what type of store procedures and all those kind of thing you are running provide the permission most of the time data reader will work just fine so hit ok now this SSRS login has the permission on this database and none of our users has permission such as the report users so they do not have permission but the as connection has permission we will be just fine now we go back here and say manage and uh, instead of using my credential windows integrated integrated security i'm going to use a credential stored securely in the report server so i'm going to call this one ssrs login this is very important uh, uh, thing sorry and then we have to provide the password if one one more time i would like to repeat uh, this uh, account will uh, access the database uh, and the, your reports uh, users will only access the reports uh, so permission will be se provided separate uh, on report levels uh, but once they hit the report uh, this account will be used uh, to connect to database uh, 
and get the data for them or for their reports. So if you have a report user that do not need permission on the database server. So that's why we create one account that has the permission on on report server as or database servers and then we use that one in the data sources as I'm using right here. So let's say it with test connection. Connection is a successful and apply. Now this will be used anywhere where we, wherever we want to use the sales. So it will use SSRS login to connect to the database and um, from there uh, it will get the data. So thanks very much for watching this video and I will go for other options uh, uploading a file and uh, deploying from uh, the bids in the next video for your data source.